Might give me our 3D port. Can't sleep ring gods is fine though. More here. Looks good for now. Francis rivaled us for some reason. I don't know. Station is there. Station is there. Need proper military? If you station you there, I would. No, you can't have my, uh, my Panama command.
Let them do all the fighting in Europe. You know, I'd actually just accept a white piece. British Customs Union. Do I accept? I'm protecting down there. Those guys protecting there. Or it's just costing us money, mostly. We lost 160 player uh, population. Do a little sea invasion. Did that little invasion over there, we did a little invasion over here, and over there. Yeah, this is probably gonna be a white piece. No reason for it. You guys keeping each other out, fine. Now it's white piece. We're not trying to get into them, they're not trying to get into us. really done is improve our military. Oh, well, France is out. Look at that. Greetings citations, brain dead or the lock. Welcome to the stream. Hey there, I've got this a few weeks ago. I can't get the hang of it. I like the idea of it, but just uh, for me, and I can't find good tutorial about it either. Um, it has a problem with uh, a lot of Paradox players. We get so into the uh, game that we forget, you know, that first beginning step. I think I tried that with EU4, but you know, I did sort of guide two players to playing the game. <clears throat> but yeah. 
Um, right now we're at the end of this game, so we're just waiting for things to happen. Like the main thing you want to keep, you know, in mind is your economy number there. They did change the game drastically in the last month, <laughs> so where you gotta like before you just like built things in states, and you had to know what your market was, how to move markets around. Like, I learned this game by playing Cape Colony. So I keep going back to it every patch or so. This is a chill gameplay. Because there you learn to balance your economy. You know. Figure out, you know, how to make money. What you can and can't do. But you don't do any it under any threat of anything because you have the Great Britain that's going to protect you. If you end up in a revolution, Great Britain helps you. If you get attacked by one of these guys, Great Britain helps you. So. <laughs> if I was to re recommend a starter country to be a uh, little old Cape Colony. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah. I can check out my YouTube channel for, you know, how, I've been, how I used to play Cape Colony, <laughs> but as I said, they changed the whole thing. They changed, uh, they added this thing called Mappy to the game. Market access. Where, where is it? Market access something. Market assets, price impact, 85. That means in your country, only 85% of anything is getting anywhere else. So yeah. You gotta learn how to mess around with the economy. That's the first thing about this game. The second thing about the game is the politics system. Where you have to balance who's in power, what laws they pass, and how these laws apply to you. Whether you stay, you know, very strict monarchy like, or you go very, uh, like, What do, I, what do I call it? Um, liberal, open democracy type thing. They gotta act like a country in the 1800s where you're just taking over other people's property, basically. Russia's probably out of this soon. I don't know. What what did Great Britain do, if anything? Nothing. They took over me. <laughs> so yeah, you gotta balance the economy, then you gotta balance the political system. Uh, shorthand, your consumption taxes are going to spend authority. You want to spend it on tap services, luxury clothes, luxury furniture, and porcelain. Those are the four big ones to remember about. You think it's a bit lackluster compared to CK3? I, it's like, I like this version. I like EU4. I like Victoria. Uh, I, re you know, if you're looking for like a, uh, like CK, Crusader Kings is more of a story-based game where you're playing a character or characters or a series of characters in order to progress the storyline that whatever you want storyline to be. Whereas this one is map painting, economics, politics. Yeah. 
you're working on a national international basis in EU4 in CK3 uh, EU4 in Victoria whereas in CK3 you're like looking at this little province here and hoping to go over that little province there and maybe you'll kill this guy in that little province there so CK3 is regional regionally locked more times than not where you're just like doing random shit whereas I you know, in Victoria and E4, you're looking at the big, big map. And, like, the only way I can go forward is space <laughs> after this. Yeah, this is an... Victoria 3 is, at its base, an economic simulator. And you got countries all competing with each other, markets competing with each other. The biggest market with the biggest amount of money usually wins. And you can claw your way from a one province miner to the great state of Ching. Oof. peace out yet. Oh look, they're, they're progressing. Look at that. Look at Prussia go. Oh, they got the British Army here. I see it. Gaza Army. My little vassals have sent armies over here to fight in Austria. You know, this is a world war. <laughs> Where Grand Columbia just sits back and reaps, uh, spends money in their economy and lets uh, everyone else fight this war in Austria and Prussia. This is our proxy war. Yeah, the uh, in the most recent patch they uh, improved combat, but they also like complicated the economy. So you want a better economic side, you know, you got a little bit better complex economics, very basic combat. Like I'm not paying attention to this. You got revolutions all the time. Yeah, countries tag switching and re tag switching. Flag switching. Yeah. Close as you come to like looking at other people with these agitator fills. Like, they all have things they want to do and they apply pressure to your government to politically change it. I mostly ignore them. Why do you want agrarianism? Yeah, we want white people. That war was costing us tens of thousands of dollars a month. Not getting us anywhere. Russia wants this in there. Now you're kind of crap, Russia. I mean, I'm sure you did help us out. 